Once in Finder, you will locate your user account location. So um, this usually is your name and it has a home icon just by it. If you can't see that, uh, you will be making that visible by going to Finder, later to Preferences, and later in the sidebar option, you will just uh, find this and just mark it. Once you mark it, we are ready to go. So let's close that. And so we are in our user account location. There, you're going to locate this folder called music. Double click in there. There, go to Ableton folder and double click. Then user library, again, double click. And presets folder, again, double click. And there you will find these three main folders, audio effects, instruments, and media effects. All your Ableton effects are located in here. So inside one uh, of uh, every of these three folders, we're going to find and create our location. So first audio effects, go there. And once in there, locate your max audio effect, open it. And here is uh, where we are going to create our folder. Just create a new folder by pressing Command Shift N. And let's create a folder called My M4L Later FX. So for you, there is not going to be all these folders. This is because I already have created all other, other devices in here. So let's go back here. And let's go now to the folder instruments. Double click in there. And I will find my max instrument folder. Then let's click the max instrument folder. And there inside, we are going to create a new folder. So command shift and and let's create my underscore m4l underscore instrument. Okay, let's go back and just we need to create uh, the folder for MIDI effects. So double click in there, locate the MIDI the sorry the max media effect there double click and there we go and let's create so command shift n and my underscore <coughs> m4l underscore fx and there it is we're ready to go we have created the locations for our max for light devices so see you in the next video and let's start to create our first Max for Light device.